Hello, Bobby Torres of Freightbox Recording here. Stems versus tracks. What's the difference? Okay, well, right off the bat, I'm gonna say stems are not tracks and tracks are not stems. For some reason, within the last few years, I've been noticing people have been using stems and tracks interchangeably. And the truth is, they are not the same thing. I've noticed other guys have done videos on this particular topic, so I guess I'm not alone. Uh, but yeah, let me clarify exactly what the difference is, because again, they are not the same. Tracks are the individual raw files from a recording session. So the kick, snare, snare top, overheads, guitar, guitar DIs, bass, bass DIs, vocals, background vocals, vocal double, uh, synths, the individual tracks, generally the raw tracks that are not processed. Those are tracks. When you ask for stems, you're asking for a mix down of a particular instrument or a group of instruments. So for example, if you ask for a drum stem, it would be the mixed drums uh, from the mixed song. Let's say you're working with a producer and you want just the drums, but the, but the mixed version of the drums, just a stereo file of the mixed drums, you'd ask for a drum stem. Or let's say you ask for a vocal stem. The vocal stem would be a stereo bounce of all of the vocals, harmonies, and maybe even background vocals within a stereo file. Uh, but again, they're all EQ'd and compressed just as they were in the original mix. Same thing goes for guitars, same thing goes for uh, bass, and so on and so forth. Those are your stems. So you may be wondering why would people even ask for stems in the first place and they do come in handy for example if you need to make backing tracks for a live performance like let's say the band wants just the backing vocals um, for their shows like they're playing along the tracks they can ask for stems of the backing vocals or maybe when they play live they don't use a bass player and they want stems of just the bass tracks but the stems are not the individual tracks they are the pre-mixed versions uh, of those elements from the mix okay so the stems are already processed they are just standalone versions of those groups of instruments from the mix, if that makes sense. If this is confusing, please leave a question in the comment section below and I'll be glad to get back to you. Uh, but those are what stems are. Again, for some reason within the last few years, people started interchanging them and calling tracks stems and it's very confusing. For example, when, when I work with clients, they'll say, oh, I'll send you the stems. And I'll say, wait, 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 I need the tracks. And they'll say, yeah, yeah, the stems. I'm like, no, 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 stems are completely different. And vice versa, people will sometimes ask for the tracks from me and I'll send them the raw tracks. And they're like, oh, no, no, I wanted the submixes of the drums. I'm like, no, those are stems. So again, you can see where this confusion kind of takes place. And I've noticed other guys have done videos on YouTube as well. So this must not be unique to me. I guess other engineers are, are dealing with the same situation and, and I don't know where it started because years ago people called stems stems and they called tracks tracks and for some reason somewhere along the line recently people started interchanging the two. I have no idea why but I felt like it's my duty to uh, clarify this. So uh, yes, so if you're ever dealing with a producer or if, let's say you're a producer yourself, make sure you use the right terminology. It will save you a headache down the road when you prep a bunch of stems and the client wants tracks or you prep a bunch of tracks and the client wants stems. It's much easier to clarify and use the proper terminology. So again, tracks are the individual raw files uh, like kick, snare, snare bottom, tom, one, two, three, overhead left, overhead right, uh, bass, bass DI, things like that. And stems are the submixes. So drums, which would include all the drums from the kit that are already mixed, but it's just a file with the drums. Guitars, which would include all the guitars separately. Bass, which would include all the bass separately and so on and so forth. Stems come in very handy if you're creating backing tracks for a live show uh, or if you want to have like a, um, an EDM producer do a remix of a rock song, you would supply them with stems. You're not going to want to give them the multi-track because you want to give them the mixed version of the stems. So all of your processing is baked into the actual files. And also Guitar Hero used to utilize stems. That's why on YouTube you can hear a lot of instrumental versions of popular songs because the original producer sent out stems to the makers of Guitar Hero. Uh, it's just way more convenient because they could drop out the vocals, they could drop out the guitars, they could drop out the bass, but they didn't have to remix the song from scratch. Again, because stems are not tracks. They are the pre-mixed versions of the groups of instruments. Okay, so I figured I'd just make this short video just to clarify because this has been coming up more and more. I've been noticing it happening more and more where people are interchanging the terminology for some reason, and the two things are very different. If you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And do not forget to click the little bell icon in order to be notified every time I upload one of my weekly videos on all things metal and rock production. You can both like and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description. And don't forget to download my quick EQ guide that contains all my EQ settings that I always refer to with starting a mix. There's a link below within the description. Till next time, happy mixing.